The Born Identity. Yes, I'm finally going to tackle along the Born Trilogy, not including the Born Legacy, to lead up to Jason Bourne. I'm glad they're going to be reviewing this film, because I've been wanting to talk about these movies for a very, very long time, because the Born Trilogy is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Actually, it's one of my favorite action films. This, Supremacy, and Ultimatum are one of my favorite action films of all time. So I'm finally getting a chance to review these three films, so let's get started. Before I get into this review, I am going to review Ghostbusters 2, so stay tuned for that review. Also, I'm still going to review Supergirl, Batman and Robin, and Catwoman, so stay tuned for those reviews too. Also, just like I said in my BFG review, I'm going to review the two J.J. Abrams Star Trek films to lead up to Star Trek Beyond. So i got a lot of things coming up soon. So I've really got to hurry up because all these movies are coming out very soon. And stay tuned tomorrow for my review of the 2009 J.J. Abrams Star Trek reboot. But let's get started with the Bourne Identity. Jason Bourne, whose body is found in a lake, he is saved by a fisherman. As soon as the fisherman nurses him back to health, he remembers nothing about himself. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know his name. He doesn't know how he got here. He doesn't remember nothing at all. So he's trying to pick up smaller details about him. And also, the gov he is targeted down by the government who track him down. And while he's being pursued by the government, he's still trying to learn more about him and who he is. I'll just put it out right here. This is one of my favorite action films of all time. I love the Born Identity. And there's a few things about the Born Identity where I had to look up more about this film. I know it was based on a book by Robert Ludlum. Like, there's some movies that I do love that are based on books that I don't really know much about. Just like this film, The Born Identity. I didn't know this was based on a book. Also, there was, this is not the first Born Identity movie. The first Born Identity movie came out in 1988. That pretty much nobody really knows much about. But who cares? This movie is great. I love this movie to death. This movie, of course, really fits as an action film. That's obvious. But this movie also fits as a mystery film. Because Jason Bourne, who has amnesia, still trying to figure out who he is and why the government is chasing him down and that's one of the things i really love about this film and adds the mystery to it all about jason Bourne that he's pretty much almost like a ghost in a way in this film to the government because when as soon as the government pulls up the picture of jason Bourne, it's like holy crap it's jason Bourne. that's what i really love about this film it adds the suspense to it all and it was kind of like the first Mission Impossible film, which is kind of more of a suspense-heavy film. But it's still a spy action-oriented film with a great suspense. And I also forgot that Doug Lyman directed this movie. He also directed one of my favorite movies of 2014, Edge of Tomorrow. So that's pretty awesome that he directed this movie and directed this. Let's talk about Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. This man was made for this role. Matt Damon killed it in this movie. He was so awesome in this movie. That's what I love about Matt Damon. He plays a strong, great protagonist, whatever genre movie he's in, just like Good Will Hunting and The Martian, which I have not yet to get on Blu-ray, but I will soon, but we're not talking about that right now. Matt Damon was great in the Bourne Identity. He nailed it as Jason Bourne. Some some people, which I saw Chris Stockman's review, he said that some people back in the day in 2002 didn't want to play Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. They were like, what? Matt Damon? To be honest, this man could play in any type of role. Because he is that great of an actor. Matt Damon. Like, I have a... Some, for some reason, I have a man crush on Matt Damon. Because I have plenty of other films with him in my collection. So... That's saying a lot. Regardless of what people thought of him being cast as Jason Bourne. They have to admit, when they first saw him portraying the character... They were blown away. They were amazed by how great he was in this movie. And Jason Bourne has to be my top 10 favorite action movie heroes ever. You, I mean, he got to be on the list. He has to. Two great antagonists in this film is that of Ward Abbott, played by Brian Cox, and Alexander Culkin, played by Chris Cooper. They wasn't your typical cookie-cutter spy villains. Like, oh, we don't like this guy because... He's a protagonist, we got to hate him. No, they have they also have motivations of why they want to chase down 
this man, why they want to pursue Jason Bourne, which, watching the film, I'm like, I feel you guys, I see why you want to chase him down, so, y'all do y'all thing. The action in this film is very cool, especially with the action scene where Jason Bourne is fighting the blonde guy in the house, dude, we just beat him, oh, that was just so awesome. That's what you guys say about the Bourne films, that the action are the best parts in this film, and the action scene alone, I don't care what any of you guys say, my favorite action scene in the Bourne trilogy. Uh, that's just my opinion. I also do love the romantic chemistry between Jason and Marie, who helps them along the way in this film. It didn't feel forced or did feel hammered in. It felt natural and real in this film. And if you definitely feel the chemistry in this movie, unlike in other movies, yeah, I'm talking about you. Guys, the Born Identity is the Born Identity. I mean, what more else can you say about this film? It's freaking great. One of the best action films that ever came out in the 21st century and the 2000s. And to be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with this movie, but I'm not going to give it a perfect score. Because sometimes, you got to lay low to A+, plus a little bit. You just got to lay low. So with that being said, I'm going to give the Born Identity an A. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow for my review of J.J. Abrams' Star Trek. Yes, I got a lot to say about this movie. So stay tuned tomorrow. And thank you for those who have been subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much, guys. And what do you think of the Born Identity in the comment section down below? And as always, if you are new to my channel and you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.